Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brickbods. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're going to carry on this week with another of our modulars. So it's kind of turning this month into modular May um, for all these reviews. And this week we're going to be doing the Brick Bank. So it's set 10251. It's got 2,380 pieces and it was 129.99 when it was um, out. It's now retired so you will have to pick this up on the secondary market if you're after it. Um, so let's get straight into it and get it unboxed. Okay, there's 20 bags of Lego in the set. They're all split into four sets of numbers. Um, so you build one and two for the bottom layer, three for the middle layer, four for the top. There's also a tan base plate and one booklet. So it's not overly easy to split this build. You'd have to download the instructions for the other person to use. There's no stickers. Um, right, let's get it built. Remember, you can always skip the speed build and join us for the review in a second. See you in a bit. <laughs>
So it took about five hours to build this between two people. We split up the build as before. So I built the bottom half and built the top. Um, I have to say, a lot of people said they didn't enjoy the, or they didn't they don't like the brick bank and i kept looking at it and thinking why i don't understand it looks really good um it looks like a great great building and i was excited to build it but the first first week we built this and we just did the first set of bags it was fine the second one i don't know if i was just in a bad mood or no i don't think it was i think i just didn't didn't enjoy it at all um there was a lot of really odd decisions by Lego on this one that really bugged me um, and it made no sense at all. So Ian built quite a few of the bits for the lower level of the build. So we'd split it up, but he was still sort of kind of getting in my way. Um, and it just, it was kind of nonsense. So you bags one and two do most of the bottom layer you don't finish off the bottom layer. There's like a random gap in it. Um, so that you then do in bag three. You don't do the clock. And then right at the end, um, you go back and do like all the extra bits. And I think actually that's probably something that is quite common with the modulars. I vaguely remember that you put the lampposts on right at the end. So I, I won't complain too much about that bit. But um, it just it seemed really odd. And on my level... I put all the windows in, so the windows are really pretty, but I didn't put any glass in the doors until after I'd built the rest of the structure, and it made it really hard to do, because um, it was so fiddly at that point. If I'd just made the doors and put the glass in at the same time and then put it in the build, that would have made way more sense to me. Um, it's kind of as if like Lego forgot to put the glass in, and then that was like a, a later on decision, and they didn't want to move the instruction forward. It was just really odd so yeah it really looks fantastic I, I do love the build like afterwards it looks nice but the building process was not as good as it could be i'll just give it a quick spin around so you can see the details so you've got the the front of the bank here the main doors really ornate sort of um top of the doors there the wings and then like a little micro figure as well really nice printed glass pieces um, it really does look quite banky to me. Um, I like the use of the little cupcake pieces um, for the detail. And there's a lot of little details as well. Ian was mentioning these top bits. Um, they're like little pulleys that you sort of put on their side to make that detail. Um, and these pieces as well up here. I mean, they're just... It is, it is very ornate. Let's give it a quick spin. So on this side, you've got the other side of the bank, some, a bench, um, a random ladder and a, a bucket of water, which I've spilt a million times so far. Uh, the detail sort of continues around. The sand green is quite nice. I think this is possibly one of the reasons why people didn't like it, is that it's a bit dull colour-wise. So you've got the white and then the grey and nothing else really. But you've got some sand blue in there as well. Um, that's mainly used over on this side. Um where you can't see it because it will be battered up against and like the small amount in the the doorways of the um the laundrettes is what i want to call it i don't know what do they call it in the us not sure um but yeah the the washing place we call it soap and suds i kind of feel like lego ended up with a bank and then went well normally we put something else in and so they sort of added this on afterwards. It is funny. There's a, a story element to it that it's um, they're laundering money, so like you can literally put money in the the washing machines. Um, so I, I do like the story element, but this bit, if you look, it's only ten studs deep. You you don't have much space in there. Um, and this is the section that Ian built. This little bit here. Um, so once I'd finished my floor, there was just a chunk out that was like the chimney build. Um, it made really no sense to me. Um, quite a few ugly bits on the edges where you've used different coloured bricks, which I never, never really like. Um, but I know it's sometimes necessary. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is this um, inside is the like bank manager's office, but 
it being a different colour is a, a little bit strange. And there's a random parrot in there. So I'll open it up and show you a bit more detail inside um, with a sort of a better view. So it just has the two floors in this uh, modular. So you've got the the tellers or the cashiers um, window here and there's some good screening there. So quite good for our COVID era that we're in right now, but also that's what you expect at a bank. Um, you've got a little stand here for you to write your checks and things. There's the back of the doors. Um, the staircase is quite pretty. It kind of goes around in a spiral staircase at the bottom it also moves out of the way quite nicely for playability which I've never seen them do before so I quite like that um, there's a little door through to the back of the bank for the cashiers and so there's some details here we've got a safe door and that safe door does actually lock so if you spin it to open it um, this little mechanism engages a lock um, got a, uh, a little I don't entirely know what this is but it's like a little cash drawer I think um, it opens and closes or doesn't open and close if you get money wedged in there so let's shut that back up at uh, the top of the safe falls open as well so you can sort of get in a bit better and I guess for dropping in money access so this is the chimney um, over here and so there's a play feature where you can drop someone down the chimney and then they sort of pop out through this bit little service hole and then they can go in and steal the money from the safe quite a nice idea little clock in the um, laundrette and I guess it is a bit deeper because the chimney like you build into the chimney oh you can't see that Oop. So let's show you the there's the washing machines you've got four washing machines a little detergent thing maybe on the side and um, a small sort of bench for folding clothes and a, a seat for sitting in I guess I like all the tiling at the bottom the tiling was pretty much the whole of the first bag there was a lot of tiling to do um, but yeah it's pretty pretty nice and I think I, I just enjoy tiling, so that's maybe why I liked it so much. Okay, so um, let's put the stairs back and look at the second level. Okay, on the second level, um, it's kind of dark, hard to see, but you've got like an open plan um, area for like maybe a bank clerk up here, little coffee machine, typewriter maybe. Um, and a, a lamp, a mug of coffee. You've got a little fireplace as well from that chimney. Then this is quite enclosed, so it's not easy to see. Maybe if I tilt it a bit. There you go. Um, you've got the, I'm going to guess, the bank manager's office there. So he's got quite a posh chair, a nice desk. And there's his little parrot statue and a, like a little dresser um, this is all open over here because on the next floor you'll see a, a big chandelier that drops down and that's actually really nice I'm quite sad that Ian got to build that and I didn't um, but I'll show you that now okay to show you the chandelier I really need to hold it up for you so it dangles quite nicely um, and it does sort of lie flat if you want to put this level down um, but yeah I think it's quite fancy so I'll put this level on so we can sort of see that in more detail as well. Okay, so at the top we've got like this skylight and then the entrance to the chimney. It's kind of two levels. Um, but there is nothing really to it. There's just like a, a door that you can get out of onto this roof. Um, but you have to, to do that, you have to go up the stairs inside the bank. So I'm not really sure who's doing this money laundering but they obviously have access to that staircase. Or maybe they're coming over across from the other other building. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's nothing, nothing really to show of that. It's kind of a bit boring. The skylight itself 
pretty simple but quite effective it does make it a very big bright building despite the fact that I couldn't really show you inside very well okay so we do a quick minifigure review of this set um they've got the all got the old style faces which actually I really don't like anymore um I never really noticed until recently that that was the case with all the modulars and I think maybe the later modulars have got more interesting faces um but obviously the older ones don't so this uh i think she's a little girl because she's got short legs um is a competition winner she has won something five uh, some contest but she's got 500 studs um and so this is a scene you can set up outside the bank with her being presented the check um so i love the the check piece that's actually um one of my favorite parts about the set and i was quite excited to put that on um not easy to put on if i'm honest but um, not too bad so there you go she's in a um, sort of best outfit i guess for getting her check and she's also got a little um rosette on as well she's got blue uh blue she's got purple legs um i won't bother looking for alternative faces because obviously they're all just the, the plain faces okay so this lady is um taking a photo of the competition winner with her camera she's got quite a nice bright pink top on with the sort of um butterfly detail nice heart necklace as well lime green legs with the pink not entirely sure um but she's got the bright hair as well so she's obviously embracing the the bright colors she probably didn't choose the hair but um yeah it, it looks nice so i'm going to assume that this guy is the bank manager he's got a sort of um stripy waistcoat pocket watch tie he looks well well dressed he's also holding like a little stamp which i think is another one of my favorite details so he can i guess deny requests for loans and things and the detail at the back there as well so i'm not sure if this one is a customer or whether she works behind the cashier desk um but she's got a nice necklace on sort of belted jacket as well detail at the back the printing is a bit bland um i don't know if that's meant to be a white top but it doesn't look white and then again just a, a standard sort of minifigure um in a suit so again he could be a bank clerk or he could be someone coming to get a loan you could sort of tell your own story with this set really so the set also comes with an extra hat and like a neck scarf um to try and um villainize i guess make make someone um more into a, a thief character so that works quite well and then you get a nice long string so you can dangle them down that chimney to go and steal the money um so yeah nice play feature so all in all what do i think of the brick bank i love the look of it i think it's a really nice building to add to your city i think if you're prepared or if you're already know that it's going to be annoying then you can work around it and do that glass at the start i think that is literally the only piece that sort of really sent me over the edge um putting those those doors in so if you're going to build this just avoid doing that put the glass in at the start don't be um don't be fooled by lego's instructions one of my favorite parts the ornate details i think for sure um i love the 3d sign on the um soap and suds and i love the build of the um washing machines i actually didn't realize i was building the washing machines because on the back side of the washing machines it's like a safe and you put like gems and things in and and you build it sort of whilst you're looking at that and suddenly you turn it around and you're like oh it's the washing machines um so i think i maybe would have enjoyed it more if i'd realized i was making the washing machines um i also like the the bench on this build um probably should have sat on it so i didn't fall down it's quite different to some of the benches that you get um with sort of these side pieces are they elephant trunks um i've seen a similar thing on uh santa's workshop it's got those sort of arms but yeah it just makes it look a little bit more ornate which i guess going in front of the this building um makes sense if you are thinking about getting this unfortunately it has gone up in price quite a lot since the introduction of the police modular because 
there's a throwback obviously in the the sign um to the soap and suds so it's it's a little bit more expensive but i don't think you should let that window glass just put you off i think it it's still worth adding to your city um so i still recommend it but yeah unfortunately it is more expensive than it was um six months ago so let me know your thoughts on the brick bank in the comments below have you built it and were similarly frustrated by the ordering to it we're going to carry on with our modular building so i don't know which one will be next but if you want to check out all our modulars um, we've got our modular playlist that you can have a look and don't forget to like and subscribe see you never miss an update see you later